Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing fine. So today we are going to code um, a sim floater. What's a sim floater? Sim floater is the most common uh, at DDoS attacks. All right, it's a DDoS attack that targets any IP or address on the internet. Everything that has an address or an IP and it's public, uh, you can use SimFloder to take it down, right? So let's do it. I already opened my terminal, right? Let's do it again. Here, I opened my terminal. So CD desktop, I will save it on desktop, right? I use nano, okay? Pluder.py. All right, so this time I'm going to set the bin uh, to the executable uh, of Python in, in Linux. All right, so it's uh, here and then user, right? Bin env. This is the environment where it's Python, right? So Python. What's the version of Python we are going to use? Python 3. So, oh, all right. Now we are going to use uh, argpay, argparse. All right, we are going to import argparse and then we are going to import random. And also we are going to import scappy. All right, so import argparse. And then import random and then from scapy.all import send IP and TCP. Here we are going to send to scapy. Hey, we are going to use your libraries send IP and TCP. Alright. So now we have to make a default default. Uh, the full packets, right? Let's uh, pack. Okay, I'm going to set this nine 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 nine. Let's see down here. All right. Now we are going to maximum ports. What is it? Uh, maximum ports. It's the limit, the total ports that's opening, working on a system. We have like 65, 5, 5, 65, 535 ports, all right? So it's 65, 535. This is the total amount of ports we have working on a system. Doesn't matter if it's Windows or Linux or, or Mac OS or whatever. So done. Now we are going to, to make a function, all right? Def. And this we are going to use random random IP. We are saying hey, we this function is the random IP. Or it means we are going to take any random IP and put over there, and then it will work. So IP, all right. Here, all right dot. This dot will be used to separate the IP address like 192.168. Right? Then join. We're going to join these numbers, right? Map. And then string str. Now random dot. We're going to use the rendent. Right, we're going to take the ran numbers from 0 to 200, 255. So, oh, 255. Between this number, that 255 is the limit number of an IP address. All right. So, we're going to take from 0 to 265 and mount this, this number. Okay, this IP address. 4 in range four all right so it's saying we have 
in the range number we have four space all right 192 one, one, perfect so here return ip well this part is done now we are going to create another function named get args or get arguments right def get args right and then close here close here right uh, now we are going to use parser equal all parse all parse dot argument parser all right description what is the description we we have to give one description to our program or script all right so description equal scene flow there all right uh you can make your own own name you can you can do whatever you want here. You can you can give any name you want to this. All right. So parser. Dot add argument. Now we are going to t. What is it? Now we are going to give the uh, some tips to the user like uh, t. All right. It's used to the victim IP address, or it means like use the T like this T and then the IP address, and then you make the ad, all right? So T help, okay? Here we're going to give the hint like it, what is T, okay? So Victim, victim IP address or perfect done and then parser add another argument So now we are going to say, hey, I'm not going to use A, I'm going to use um, um, M. What is this M? Uh, uh, no, uh, no, it's better. It's better to use A to the amount. Uh, this is the amount of packets you want to send to the target all right so we have to we have to set up some uh some argument to do that like uh we have the ip t and then we have the ip 92.168.1.1 and then the amount all right we can send this remember the the size of the package we have it's here the default pack it's the total amount all right if you send one over this the software will crash the script will crash and we need to go there and change the config the total size of the pack there so yeah let's do it um a for the amount right uh type oh type int all right help mm. amount of packets mm. packets where the full all right are Infinity, infinity. Right, so 
I close here parenthesis. Mm -hmm. Let me open a bit more here. So now we are going to declare default. We are going to use actually default pack. Right. Done. <laughs> This is my watermelon juice, delicious. So now we have another argument parser that adds argument. Now we are going to, to set up the port, all right, what port we want to attack. So to this, we're going to use P, right? And then here, type int, what is this? Type, type int help. Uh, this target port target port all right this is the port where we are going to attack all right normally the the full port the full port is 80 okay uh Normally, when we have a website or um, a router, a modem, or a firewall, they work on the default port 80. Okay, so we just set up the default port. So default equal 80. If we don't set anything during the, the attack, like we have almost done the script here, so will be something like that um, here in this line so python3 fluder.py and then we have the victim's ip address right 192.168.1.1 and then the port all right in this case if we don't set up the port here we don't add a port here the attack will occur on this port the default port of the program it's 80 so 80 here and then the amount of the packets i want to send at a hundred thousand will be sent a hundred thousand packets to the the target all right so yeah the default port works like that you don't need to set up anything because you'll be the attack will be on the port 80, but if is there port 443 or 445 or any other 21, 22, that's SSH, 20, 21 FF, FT, FTP, uh, 25 SMTP or any other port, uh, we have to, to give the direction, the port, destination port during the attack, all right? So here we are setting args equal parser dot parse args. All right, here closer to me, it's better. All right, so return, we are going to return args dot t args dot p args dot a we are going to get in return the arguments we just set up the t the a and the p right so it's done this part and now we are going to create a function to the to to the app itself all right just a second i have some message come here yeah so sorry guys so now we are going to def sin 
swim float. All right, and then target. Um, uh, target IP. D port, destination port, packets to send. Right, so I always forgot. Sorry, guys. So print sending packets to the target. Okay, here will be the message that we are going to send the packet to the target. And then now we are going to use the function for. Why for? We could, we could use while, but for it's pro, more proper, um, it's better because we know how many packets we are going to send. Like it's not infinite loop, right? We have infinite. While we use while this is alive, keep sending, keep sending, keep sending, keep sending, right? So it to stop when we don't receive the message back that it's alive. So the for when you use the function for is better. For a thousand packs I send, we will send a thousand. Doesn't matter if it's alive or not. It will send a thousand packets. Okay, so I was for for i in range right packets to send all right it's in for the the for the uh range inside the packet i'm going to send all right sec uh, sec Jesus Christ sequence and and then random dot rendint and then starts on zero all right and go to the max port max ports okay, all right so s port equal random dot random the same thing the random then o <coughs> sorry guys match ports now window equal random dot rendent rent int and then zero max port all right so now we're going to say source ip right equal random ip Okay, here, packed. Now we are going to set up the packed, all right? IP. IP. So now we are going to say dest, destination port, uh, destination IP. It's target IP. SRC SRC IP is the source IP right so TCP let's do it S port source port right well S port and then D port equal the port destination port equal destination port okay so now flags 
the flag will be s sent right and then set uh equal jesus set and sequential number all right and then window equal window I don't know what's happened to the guys, sorry. Uh, and then close here. <clears throat> All right. Send. All right. Facts. And then verbals equal zero. Done. Now we're going to print. Send all the packets. We're saying oh, after all the process, uh, the four process that's going to send the I uh, have the the number, the amount of packets we set up, we define. We are going to receive a message uh, that all the packets were sent. Okay, so now I'm going to create another function, def main. Def main and then target IP D port packets sent oops packs to send to send equal get dot arg get arg and I'll get args get args here get args is we're going to get this function over here okay so yeah and then scene <coughs> scene flow target target ip g port Packets to send. Okay. So let's check again. Simfluid. All right. Uh, we are going to get this function. Let me just this in his place. All right. Perfect. And now, if name oh lord equal main then main right that's it got look i forgot something here yes done so let's save it All right All right, let me see. Done. All right, so oh, yeah, done. Cool. All right, so now we are going to sudo Python three. Okay. Uh, we are going to sudo Python three, and then. We are going to say folder.py and then here we are going to set the address on 2.68.1.1. Now we have to set up the port, we have to define the port. IOAD.AD. Remember, if you don't put any port, it's going to byte to the default port that's port 80. Right, so anyway, I'm going to put eight here and then the amount of packets a thousand. Yeah, just test. Um, right. Oops, third nine. Why uh, the main function? What's happening there? 
Let me see what's going on over there. Let's try again. Oh, we have a definitely we have a problem here. So file my third six main some packet. Uh send packet, not packet packet. Yeah. Uh, let me see another target port. All right, let's see now. So it's yes. All right. Let's see. It's going to work. All right. Now it's sending the packs. All right. I just changed the <laughs> the D. The T for D, right? So now we're sending the packets to the target, okay? And then it will send all the packets and then we'll finish and give us the message. Okay, let's see. Let's watch this, to see what's going to happen. A thousand packets. So yeah, we received the message here, sent all the packets, okay? So yeah, that's it guys, uh, it's working. I hope you guys like this video, sorry for the, the error, but it happens, it's normal, okay? So thank you for your attention guys, and that's it. Uh, I hope you guys like it, if you like, Give me a like and subscribe to the channel, okay? Have a nice day.